What up, world? And YouTube fans, it's Ray2K back with another exclusive video. Um, just pretty much laying in bed, uh, fucking around with the NVIDIA Shield on a late night tip, um, 3.40 a.m. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to load up the battlefield on your, uh, in your account. So what I did was I went ahead and, uh, I went ahead and put the battlefield onto my Steam account, and um, basically I'm going to show you guys how to just jump right on, and uh, from here, I'm going to go into my Steam account, uh, hold on, I got a message here, let me just check out my message real quick, Let's see what my message is. Uh, it's telling me I got new inventory. Uh, okay, so I got a couple of new trading cards. So, anyways, back to where we're the matter at hand. So we're gonna go back to the full games, kind of, you know, show you guys my full game lineup. You know, kind of enjoy showing this on Steam, man. It's amazing. But um, uh, back to Battlefield. Jump right into it. Load it up. Starts up from there, right? Okay, once it loads up there, what I'm going to do is now the game won't just pop on, right? So, what it's going to do is going to crash. Boom, there, you hit OK once it crash. You back out of there, and then you go into splash, snap, splash top. And you go in, you ro your remote access right on in. Get into your PC, continue. Then from there, you're inside your uh, you're inside your battle log, right? So let's let's um get inside the battle log, and we're just gonna just scroll on over to the multiplayer. Click the multiplayer. Um, we play on hardcore guys, so if you guys ever want to step your game up, get off of that normal shit, get on some hardcore. So we're going to jump directly into this game here. Start that up. Show you guys there. And uh, as soon as it pops up down here, we're going to just go here and um, click the Battlefield icon. Now that it's loaded, you can bag out of the program. Bag out of that. Go back to your Steam Shield. Jump right into it. And resume your game. Once you resume your game, Everything should pop up, as in like you were uh, remote access back into your PC, and Battlefield should immediately load. Give it a second. Give it a second, guys. Now, I've done this a couple times, and... This is actually the first time I had to go through the through the white screen shit. Never saw this before. So let's let's do something. Resume it again. Get back in there. Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard real quick. Go back in the snap. Splash top. Back into the PC. And okay, so there's something going on here. Let's do me a favor and take that out of the way here. Hmm, DX error, huh? Hmm. 
Okay. Resize buffer. Understandable. Okay, let's just jump back in that again. Here. So, um, just follow what I did at the beginning, guys, again, and then um, just jump back in there again. And back to the steam. Resume your game. And there we go, fellas. We ain't. So, for you guys that wanted to know how to do it, that is indeed how you do it. And we're going to just uh, see if we can prop this up a certain way and get some, some gameplay in here. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can see everything is working with the controller and I'm going to jump right in to get me a the kill real quick. Ugh, if someone has my tags, ain't that about a bitch? Well, that's how we get the battlefield running on the NVIDIA Shield, guys. Uh... For guys who don't know, you basically can get any game running exactly like that. And um, man, it even works on the go, man. It even works like when you're at the park or some shit like that. As long as you're using Splash Top or whatever, it'll, it'll, it'll go on. As long as you got a good connection, you should be okay. Um, so far, I don't have any complaints. Uh, if you got a slow connection... It, it, it becomes gritty, but if your connection's pretty good, you'll basically see what your PC does. And um, I'll just die out with that one, guys, and take myself to sleep. But for you guys, can see Battlefield 3 is official.